From Randy Langley, British Columbia, a triple header in the Canadian Premier League continues. It is the meat in the CPL sandwich. Vancouver hosting the Halifax Wanderers. Ashvin Gapi makes just one change to his team after his win in midweek, and that is the return of Vasco Fry from yellow card accumulation suspension. He takes over in his natural left midfield role. That will push Gabby Batar up to the top. Turning our attention to the Halifax Wanderers, three changes to their team today. Armand Wilson, Tiago Coimbra, and Thomas Gilles. Giraldo are added. Jordan Perutza and Mo Omar dropped to the bench. Camilo Vasconcelos is a substitute, could make his Wanderers debut this afternoon. Same can be said for their opposition today, and it's the point of the year, Jim, isn't it, where you wish you were in a playoff spot? I think Vancouver and Vancouver alone, their staff could tell you internal expectations. Let's pause that thought. Some serious space in behind. It's the first for Daniels. Had a chance to finish it off. Under hit by typical Coimbra. Daniels, I think Jamie had more time than he expected to. <laughs> I, think he, I think he didn't realize it was going to come through the way that it did. Midweek miracle. We've seen a few of those at the Wanderers grounds over the years. Even this season, a couple. Daniels from Nimick. Daniels, he's going to shoot. Decent link up down this right wing. Caligari over the top of Garcia. Positions himself right in the path. Caligari gets a second chance at the ball. Now Giraldo pokes it free for Coimbra. Tiago Coimbra just misses the far post. The most clear cut scoring opportunity of the match. Ferrazzo again helping to pull the strings. And then Giraldo, Jim, this is a great ball. Oh, perfectly weighted pass here. Perfectly weighted ball. It's one of the bright spots for this Vancouver side. Chung into the box, looking towards Alejandro Diaz. Second phase is on, and it's now with the man whose praises were just sung by Jim Brennan. Four goals and two assists on the season, and one of the best scoring chances for Vancouver. He actually lays it off and lets Garcia take. Blasts that through the wall, fooled the keeper, but it ends up well wide and harmlessly away. I don't mind this. Going with power. We continue with this one. And a race to the ball, and it's going to be won by Farron. Has it go himself. Massimo Farron finds goal number six. One pass to get down the field, a couple of touches for control. An inch perfect placement. Halifax goes up late right in the opening half. It's Vancouver zone coming down in possession. Diaz can tag. Batar tries to set it back up. Can tag. Contacting the area. Swearing the legs away. No. Can tag still down in a heap. Just about made an instant impact to this match. So I saw it. It's a mistake and a clearance attempt. Daniels can't stymie Simmons. Cameron finds Diaz. Lockery makes a good standing challenge. Kintab certainly has the quality to be that guy. His pass for Cameron, and he keeps himself open. But Cameron, similar to half fair, led to his goal. Advantage being played. The shot from Simmons is wide, and the referee. So do you use your advantage up and is not going to bring it back? You get the advantage. If they would have scored there, they would have said, it's not like they're going to go back and say, you know, forget exactly. about the goal, we'll take the free kick. They had their advantage, they had a shot. But sometimes you... Here they go into the pass, and that is inch perfect from Gabby Vittar. Speaking of a player to provide a spark and a little bit of magic. Vittar Let the change be made with the scoreline the same. Outswinger from Batar with plenty of pace. Flipped on. Simmons lines it up. Goes high. Diaz hits it down into the turf. Falls for Anthony Wright. His hands up saying that took a bounce on the way out.
Omar, outside of his foot for Wilson, tries to go around Cameron. Still Wilson, it pinballs around, and it requires a diving Irving to get just enough to push it clear of the post. Caligari lifts it and it's going to reach Peruzzo. Callum Irving denies him at the doorstep. Gets down in a hurry and keeps this match not at once. Tintam couldn't get a piece. But it's spilled out by Halifax. Henry lunges. Cameron steals it. Cameron another touch into a dangerous area. Cameron on a heroic run. Kanani turns, fires the flex and hits the post. And the foul of Cameron denied by Henry. How did that ball not find the back of the net? James Cameron, my goodness. Garcia runs over. It's a decent little ball into the box. Headed down by Nimick, following up Mazzini Zato. Vancouver won a penalty. Well, this will be the talking point. Let's have a look. On the half volley from Mazzini Zato. It's like his arm was pretty close to tucked into his body. Cameron all the way back to Callum Irving, well out of his goal. And Kanani in a race, so is Hendo, flex that over, and that is an own goal! Can you believe the misfortune for the Halifax Wanderers? Dan Nimick tried to clear it, his keeper was clearly beat, he had no other choice. But he gets underneath it, blasts it off the crossbar, and Halifax are going to lose this game, and Vancouver's on for two wins in a row. It's 20 or 30 minute bursts, and if you can manage those as the opposition, more often than not, you're coming away with at least a point. But you credit the fight, because Vancouver have got six points from a possible six this week. Beating Valor on the road and coming home to stun the Halifax Wanderers.